Welcome back to a new video where today in this video sponsored by Paperlike, I'm going to be showing you or hopefully showing you a good way of redesigning some logos. I don't know whether they'll be better. That's for you to decide and you can decide. You just let me know in the comments, but we're going to be spending a few minutes on each logo, trying to make them better. See if we come up with something new. Let's do it. So you guys give me these logos through the Reddit and you can go and check out the Reddit in the link below what we got here. I saw this logo and it was posted quite a long time ago, but I thought it would be interesting to see what we could do. Obviously, this is um, not a very good logo at the start because it is literally like a server system and it's there's a lot of detail happening here. The typography, though, is really good. I really like that. I like the way that you've gone ahead space everything out it is actually okay kerning but the tracking is way too wide talking from the future here i've gone ahead and drawn out some ideas for this obviously it's a cloud technologies company and i wanted to go ahead and make it work better as a logo but i didn't want to go too cliche with the cloud because you know every company has a cloud when there's cloud computing involved but if i was going to go for a cloud i wanted it to be something unique and similar something that people could see in small scales something that could be put onto the products themselves easily scalable is the way that i like to put it so i went ahead and created this sketch here and i think we'll run with this one and try and create something out of it so the way that i'm going to create this logo isn't through like bringing it in as a sketch i'm going to actually just use a couple of features in here because it's only got one component repeated i'm going to create a circle here i'm going to bring the stroke massively up and i'm going to sort of create this question mark by just cutting this like so and i'm going to bring a question mark here like this get rid of that point bring this all the way down bring this up to give it a bit more smoothness what we're going to do is put this on its side let's go to object now what i want to do is repeat this all the way around i think having a radial repeat will make this look cool it's far too many in fact before i do that i need to make sure that this is rounded caps that would make life a lot easier. And if I bring this down like so, it will create this cool little pattern, which is like a cloud. It kind of looks like a fidget spinner though. Um, <laughs> but I think we'll go for this one. I kind of like the idea of it just being this really abstract cloud. If we add more in what happened there, that looks crazy. Something like this will work for now. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and copy that over, flatten the transparency. We're going to add a gradient and we've got an icon that I think works pretty well. There's way too many anchor points in there though. Then we're going to write topper and we need to find a good typeface. I kind of like the typeface that you've got there already, but I think we could find one that works well. I think you used Gilroy anyway. Let's try and use Mont. Again, that blue is a bit too blue for me personally. This goes for more of a a purple one that does definitely doesn't fit that's way too blurple find a rotation that works so now we've got this sort of cloud friendly app so it doesn't look like a computer system as it sh you wanted it to but i think it works better this way personally i mean this is only like five minutes worth of work going on here now if you're wondering how i got my ipad to sound like this It's because I've got a Paperlike screen protector on my iPad. I've been a fan of Paperlikes for ages. And essentially what they are is a screen protector. It protects your screen, but when you're drawing on it with an Apple Pencil, it makes it feel more like paper. Your hands easily glide across the screen and it works super nicely. I can't use an iPad without it. The first thing I do to an iPad when I get a new one is put a paper like on it. It gives you such a better drawing experience when using them. If you'd like to go and check out paper like and get one for yourself, click the link down below in the description. You will not be dissatisfied. Or should I say you'll be very satisfied. So overall with this logo, when we put them side to side, obviously there's so much stuff I could do if I had time. But again, I think it's a better difference. I think it works better. It's more functional, obviously. It's a lot friendlier and it just generally scales a lot nicer as well still i'm not too super happy with it but maybe if you'd let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video where i spend a lot more time on one design one logo to change i could do even better i think but you guys be the judge let me know in the comments below this next one was posted just a day ago and it really interests me because quora is a really cool website now this design here is a lot different to the original quora i really like it i think it works super well 
but I think there's a few things missing in this. It looks way too simple. And not only that, I want a challenge. I want to see what I can actually do to see if I could make this better. Right now, it seems really nice. That Q is one of my favorite Qs. Works really well on the app. Scalable and nice. There's a few kerning issues that I can see from the logo type. If you look very closely, the U is way too close to the Q and the A is way too far away from the R. But those kerning things come in time. You'll learn them as you go. So let's see what I can do. Will from the future here again. I've gone ahead and drawn some ideas in Procreate. First thing I wanted to do was see if there was a correlation between the Q and what Quora stands for. Now, obviously a Q could be seen as a microphone glass if you do it carefully, but also it's got all the components and slightly more as a question mark. So it's got the same components. What if we could create a logo for Quora that was all about searching, so that's significant for the microphone glass, but then also a question mark. So what if we created a Q icon, or even better, a logo type with the Q icon that could be a question mark and a microphone glass merged together. So I kind of like the last idea that I came up with, which was the one with the microphone glass and the, you know, the dot at the end. So what I'm first going to do is just write down Quora in a nice font. I'm just going to probably stick with Gilroy for now. Create it in the same color. I've got the reference image here. Now what I loved about your cue was the fact that it had that straight part at the bottom. It looks super clean and nice, really easily readable. But look, this could be a microphone glass right there. So let's try and create one of those. That's where my brain is going straight away. I might be tunnel visioning quite a lot. I'm in the rabbit hole here of wanting to do something. But I want to see if it works. So what I'm doing is I'm just creating the O first. Then I'm going to go to outlines. And I think what I'll do first of all is I need to get rid of like a segment of the O. And if I do that, we should have a question mark in there. Now, the way that I look at this is through components, which is like what does make a cube, what makes it? A microphone glass and what makes a question mark and if you put them all together would it read well would it be identifiable or will it just look like a really weird mess so to work this out i'm going to go ahead and create this crossbar here keep it in the same width as the circle to bring this out a little bit more then i'm going to rotate it let's see what happens if i rotate it that's more like a microphone glass but it's, it seems way too long something that a lot of designers don't know is that you can work within golden proportions or the golden mean the golden ratio 1.618 what i like to do a lot of the time is follow that rule so if i'm wanting to create another circle all i do is create the same exact size of this circle and i'm going to bring it down in proportion by 1.618 every time so let's scale this down so we're going to go up here to the top divide by 1.618 and then we're going to do it again and boom we've got a small circle it looks like the target logo look at that okay that looks a bit strange so that's one version. Now, what I instantly want to do is sort of check out what would happen if I was to change the rotation of this and make it sort of flat. It no longer looks like a question mark, but that could be because... No, that looks like the Beats logo. Now, that's not good. Sort of question mark has to start from there. The end point has to start here. That looks a bit strange and abstract. Okay, well, we've got this idea. Let's bring that circle back there. And I've got this one. Let's group this together and let's try and bring it into the Quora design here. So we'll create some outlines. We're going to ungroup and get rid of this and see if this will fit. Again, I'm not too sure whether this will work. It's not going to be the right thickness. Actually, I think it could work. I mean, I'm not perfectly happy with it. But at the same time, for like a concept, it kind of works. It might be going a bit too literal. So what we've got is a microphone glass, a cue, and a question mark. Ask you questions and find something. I mean, it looks a bit disjointed, but if you look at it hard enough, it might work. Anyway, that's the process for creating redesigns or whatever. What I like to do is test things out, see if it works. And what this does is like stretching a muscle in your brain. It's like a creative muscle if you don't use it you'll lose it let's see what happens when we scale it down let's do some reverse so what i do for reverse i just copy it in bring it to the front i think it's way too detailed and it's not very i don't know if it's easily readable because the way that i'm seeing it now is more like a shape rather than a letter so this is where i would have to like take time away from the computer if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more 
press the red subscribe button, like and share the video. People need to see this for 15 or so minutes. That's not too bad. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm sure you guys have got a lot to say. If you did enjoy it, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for sponsoring me, Paperlike. See you soon and goodbye.